All right, spring brings wild changes to our weather here in the northern plains, and that's exactly what we're seeing. But one thing that doesn't change a lot, it's Thursday, and it's Shields Weather Kid Night. Tommy Gendron joins us all the way from Langdon. Tommy, step out here. You're 10 years old, right? Yeah. That's a long bicycle ride. Now, are your legs tired? No. No, okay, you left early enough. Uh, what grade are you in, young man? Fourth grade. Fourth grade. Favorite subject? Social studies. You like social studies. Good. And uh, is there anybody you wanted to say hi to before we get started? My fourth grade class and Uncle Grubby. Okay. Well, you give everybody a big wave out there. And go Hi. ahead. And, all right. Step in front of me and tell me what you see on the radar. First and foremost, uh, up by your neck of the woods up in Langdon, what's all that pink stuff that you see there? Ice. Ice. Okay. And why don't you point out some areas that are seeing rain right now? Minot. Good, out in Minot. Okay, now let's uh, sneak in and take a closer look at southeast North Dakota. I'm going to have you back up just a step. Now, what's the difference between the dark green shades and the light green shades? The dark is more rain and the light is very not good. That much. Yeah, very good. So, where's the heaviest rain you see on the radar display right now, Tommy? Jamestown. Right near Jamestown, crossing into parts of Barnes County, we have a little heavier band of shower activity. But in Fargo, we've seen just a few sprinkles. Look at this mess. Is this cotton candy here? What is all that pink stuff? It's ice. Again, where you see the darker shades, we're likely getting some sleet hitting the ground, maybe even some pockets of freezing drizzle or freezing rain out there. So watch for icy roads, Devil's Lake to Langdon. And you guys, are you heading home now? No. No? Okay, good, because the roads might be a little icy tonight. Grand Forks, we have sprinkles there, but take a look at northwest Minnesota. Do you see rain, sleet, or snow in this area? Rain. A lot of rain. Bemidji up to Roseau, it's all moving off to the east. Here's the big picture. Again, what's all the white stuff we see on the area? Clouds. Good job. Okay, so cloudy everywhere and some areas of rain. Look out into the area in North Dakota. Tell me the coldest weather you see right now. Near Badu. Okay, very good. And how about up here by Devil's Lake? What's their temperature right now? 35. Okay, now let's sneak out and look out into Minnesota. What is the hot spot on the weather map? Point it out for me. Uh, right, very good. Bedette is way up there, almost into Canada, right, at Lake of the Woods, and they're the hottest weather we have going right now. It is a little windy. South winds are bringing the warm air. That's what's helping to warm us out, but it's gusty. So put some extra hairspray on tonight. Now, Tommy and I are going to go over the forecast. If you're heading outdoors this evening, here's where the rain is now. Tommy, tell them where it goes by 10 o'clock tonight. Here in Roseau. Right, good. Near Roseau, Thief River Falls. This whole area will have a good chance of some rain. Then look at Bedette. What's the blue stuff again? Snow. Good. We're going to have snow there. Watch Bedette. More snow during the overnight. If you happen to be out tonight at midnight, Tommy, riding your bicycle, it looks like the snow will continue through the overnight in northwest Minnesota, so we're going to get some accumulation potential there. West, northwest winds to start our day. Temperatures in the morning will be in the 30s when you head off to school. What about lunchtime temperatures from Langdon down to Fargo? What do you think they will be? Near 35. Good, near 35. Good, good estimate. And does it still look like it's snowing in Bedette? Um, not that much. Not that much. It's kind of starting to end there. Heading into the afternoon, it looks windy. It looks cool 30s out there, so kind of a wind chilly day. Who has a best chance at seeing some sun late in the day? Devil's Lake. Very good. And then look at this. Now, this computer model says heavy snow up to seven inches in Bedette. I think three inches, a pretty good bet out here, but isolated spots could pick up five or six inches of snow. So, maybe some serious shoveling going on up there in Lake of the Woods country. All right, here's your Langdon planner for the morning bus stop. Tommy, you take this away. Tell me what you can expect. Cloudy with wintry mix. Uh, very good. And then for the lunch recess, tell me what to expect in Langdon. Cloudy and windy. Okay, what about a temperature? 30. Good. And after school, point out what you see there. 31. Good. And still windy and cold. So. Hutch gives you C's across the board for the weather. Temperatures low to mid 30s north will be close to 40 down south. A cloudy day with the best chance of continued precipitation in the far east. Look at this tree out there and somebody playing hockey out on the lake, but that goal is starting to sink in. Thanks for sharing your photo. Mikhail Ramsey sharing that from Long Lake. Here's your planning forecast. Take a look at Saturday. Does it look warmer or colder? Warmer. Okay, are you a fan of the hot weather or the cold? 
hot. Then we have just what you want. They're warm on Sunday. Tommy, follow me over here. Very nice job, young man. We stay warm on Monday, but it's another day of transition with the temperatures falling from 50 degrees late. So Monday night probably won't be all that pleasant. And then we cool off for the middle of next week. But all in all, there's more 40s and 50s on that forecast than 30s. And does that make you smile, Tommy? All right. Yeah. Very nice job, young man. Excellent. Thank right. you. A recall is underway for certain Hyundai vehicles. Which ones are affected? Coming up.